Hi folks, welcome to Paradise Fibers. My name is Kyle and today we're going to talk about drive bands for your spinning wheels. Uh, we get a lot of calls, a lot of people need replacement drive bands. They're, they probably are the most common part you're going to replace on your spinning wheels. They go out probably every year or so, maybe often, maybe less often. Uh, but there's two kinds of drive bands and there's different um, applications for each drive band. So the first one we're going to talk about is probably fairly common one you'll see. Um, this is actually made of hemp. They come in cotton. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the actual material it is, but it looks like a piece of string. Now, this particular kind you will see on all double drive wheels. You might see it on single drive wheels, but it is designed for double drive wheels. Reason being, you can't use the poly material, which is what we're going to talk about here shortly. Um, this is obviously on a smaller scale, but Essentially, a double drive drive band is what you see here, but it's twisted into a figure eight like that. And that's actually what wraps around your wheels. So, if you're a novice, um, you might say, I have two drive bands. You actually have one drive band, it's um, just twisted into a figure eight. That's why you can't use the, the poly. We have several different kinds of this in cotton or hemp, and it, we have the availability to fit any wheel uh, that you have. Um, the other drive band material that we're going to talk about is probably the one that we get the most questions on and it's actually a poly material it's this clear material here um, it does have some give to it it is stretchy so you might also see it is called stretchy drive band poly drive band um, we sell this in two different ways one if you have a lendrum spinning wheel we do sell this pre-joined to fit the lendrum um, the main reason I want to do this video is to show you how to join these because we don't join all of them because every wheel is of course going to have a different length of drive band. So the reason you can't use this in double drive is um, if you twisted this into a figure eight, it does not like to slide. It's very unforgiving so uh, it's not going to work in double drive mode. It's just not possible. So this is for single drive wheels only. If you have a double drive wheel, you don't want this drive band unless you're going to take your cotton drive band off and put this on every time you go into single drive. That you can do, uh, but does not work for double drive. So this is single drive only. Um, actually, if you go to our website and just type in most common, you'll get this diameter. And that it fits Ashford wheels, Kromsky wheels, Louette wheels, um, Lendrum, our wheels, what comes um, in single drive. We have single drive and actually our jumbo for the Paradise Fibers Revolution wheel. Uh, your jumbo drive band on the jack shaft actually has this poly on it. So, a um, couple things you want to keep in mind when you do buy this. We sell it by the foot or like I said pre-joined for the Lindrum or the Revolution spinning wheel. But you want to be careful when you join these because it's pretty easy to kind of get goofed up. So, the first thing you want to do is it comes in a coil like so. Um, first thing you want to do is uncoil this and kind of lay it out on the table and you'll see right there how it's twisting back on itself. If I were to join this right now, it's going to have that little twist in it the whole time. It's not going to work, work out of it. So if you untwist that, get it into a nice big circle. <clears throat> so you can see there's no twists or loops in my drive band here. That's where you want to be when we go to join this so you don't run into any issues down the road with it potentially jumping off your wheel. I've never heard of it happening but if you do it the right way the first time, you'll never have to worry about it. So what you'll need to join your poly drive band if you order it by the foot, um, it's really three things. Fire, candle, and a cutting device. I use little snips, they're my favorite, you can use scissors, you don't have to use a lighter. Um, little tea candles work great, you can if you have somebody holding the lighter for you, that'll work as well. Um, so once you straighten that out, the second thing I like to do is take a look at the ends of my poly and make sure they're nice and cut straight. We do our best to cut them straight here, but if for some reason you have an angle at one, it might cause you a little bit of an issue because it does get slippery once we, we melt these and join them together. So I've already cut mine so they're nice and straight. So we're going to light my candle. Alright, we have fire. So <clears throat> we're going to hold this three or four inches above our candle and we're not going to touch them together. We're going to keep them separated and then you probably won't see it in the video but as you're doing this it's going to start to mushroom a little bit on the tips and it's going to start to get really clear and you'll see it's actually melting. When you get to that point we're going to pull it away from the heat and gently press them together. Two things we want to keep in mind. If it catches on fire 
uh, like a marshmallow does when you're roasting on the campfire. It's not a big deal. You can't get these too hot, uh, but you don't want to sit there and let them burn, obviously. And the second thing is you want to find this sweet spot as you're pressing them together. If you press too hard, what's going to happen is all that melted poly is going to mushroom out and then it's going to be hard on hard and at, once it dries it's just going to pop apart. So we want to find that sweet medium. We don't want to barely touch them. We don't want to firmly touch them. Um, we want to go kind of right in the middle. So since my flame is very weak, I'm going to get a little bit closer. <clears throat> doesn't take very long for these to start to melt at all um, or catch on fire like that. You can just brush it off, put this other side a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to just press them together and they do, they are slippery. Um, so when you're at this stage, you can blow your fire out if you want. Um, you're just going to want to not move for about 30 seconds or so and let this um, join and then there's one more step so with the poly as I said earlier the most common size is 1 8 diameter that's gonna fit most wheels we do have this poly available for uh, uh, drum carters sorry I blacked out there for a second um, we have it available for drum carters as well it's gonna be a thicker diameter it's a quarter inch or 5 16 inch uh, we also have some pre-joint one of those depending on what make or model of your drum carters so um, make sure when you are ordering this that you are ordering the correct material. Give us a call if you have any questions or you're not really sure. Um, make sure you give us a call because we'll, we'll make sure we get you the right size. Okay, so now you can see that's joined, but you see there's that big blob in the center. What I like to do is take these little snips or your scissors and you can come back through and cut all that off. Um, if you don't, depending on what size whorls you're running or what ratios you have or what wheel you have, um, if you don't trim this back, it could cause issues as it's going through your whirl. Your wheel probably typically will be just fine, but if it's going through your whorls, it will cause an issue. So there you can see our joint. It's nice and clean, and it's not going to break on you. That's rock solid. So that is how you join a poly drive band and it's going to be the same steps whether you're doing it for a drum carter, a spinning wheel or any other application that's how you would join it. Um, it's very simple and if you did mess up just cut it right where you joined it and you're only you're not even losing you know a sixteenth of an inch so if you do mess up the first time don't freak out don't panic the other thing I like about this is it's stretchy so if you order six feet of it and you need five and a half feet for your wheel and you, you cut it five and a half feet but you messed up it's stretchy so it's, it's a bit forgiving um, but that's how you would join it and if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to give us a call um, our number here is 888-320-7746 and we do have uh, both the cotton and the poly drive bands for any spinning wheel you have on the market um, or at your house we can provide you a, a drive band for make sure you check us out at www.paradisefibers.com thanks for coming this is Kyle signing out